Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to turn this That's why I have American Express My love for you Into this Oh, that's why I'm never gonna spade It's my love for you Using the neural network so it's SVC folk First got the link in description to the github repository of author of this neural network Next, click code and download the zip archive then scroll down and find the installation section. Download the installer. Now create a folder where you will move all files of this AI. After downloading, move the installer to the folder and unzip the archive. Run the installer, press any button to continue and wait for it to finish. Upon completion, a graphical interface will open. I suggest closing it for now. You will find a wind floater in the floater with the installer. To make it easier to access this AI in the future, go to this floater, next go to the scripts floater and copy the directory. Now we need to add this path to environment variables. Open the edit environment variables, find the path variable and click edit. Then click new and add our path here. Since I, like most of you, have less than 10 GB of video memory, we'll train our voice model using Google Colab. For this, you will need to record an audio file with your voice. The longer, the better, but I recommend making it at least 10 minutes long. You can read the book or talk to someone, it doesn't matter, as long as your voice sounds natural. After we recorded the source material, divide it into segments as outro advice. For this, we download the archive. Go to the Sovitz SVC folk main folder, then to the test folder and create dataset raw raw, where you transfer your audio file. Then open the console, navigate to the directory and run the command SVC press lib. Wait for command to finish. At this point, we no longer need the console. Now in the test folder, dataset row, you will find the prepared audio files for training. Go back to github page and scroll down until you find the training section. Below you will find the cloud line and right under it open in collab link. Open collab, select the account that will be used for training and click installation. Wait for the installation complete. This will take some time. Scroll down until you find the copy your dataset line. Here you will need to find the directory and go to your Google Drive. Next, create a folder on your drive called Soviet SVC Folk. Inside it, create a dataset folder and another folder with the name of your model. Load the resulting file from the dataset row folder into folder with your model. Return to Collab and the dataset name tab enter the name of your model. Then close the training tab and launch it. I advise it to expand it after launching and check for errors. There shouldn't be a situation where our cells run for 0 seconds. Some indeed take 0 seconds, but not all. In the last training cell, the tensor board window will open. You can close it. And after that, you should see an info label that you can also close. If you've done everything correctly, the training process should begin. The more extensive and diverse your voice dataset is, the longer the training will take. Ask my friend that records her voice. For one, the training took only 3 hours, while for other, I couldn't finish it after 12 hours, as it only reached 2000 epochs. By default, it shouldn't go through 10,000 epochs, but in my experience, your model will already resemble your voice by the 1000 epochs. Keep in mind that if you don't have Google Colab subscription, the training might be interrupted due to existing limitations. But don't worry, this AI saves progress every 30 minutes, so you can always continue training your model. After some time, you will see the AI saving the model and training field. You can find it in your drive, in the Soviet Fork Logs 44k folder. The last three saved models will be stored there. Names is either G or D and the epoch number. Next we'll need to download your model. I download the one with G prefix and the config file and move it to convenient location. Congratulations, you're almost there. To make the neural network voiceover and what you need, you need a source file contained only vocals. If your source file is a song with a B, the beat must be separated from the source, which can be done using the ultimate vocal remover, also available on creator's GitHub. All you need to do next is open the console and enter the command SVCG. A familiar graphical interface will open. For model path, choose your model. And for config path, choose your config file. Next, I suggest setting the pitch to zero or a negative value. In the input audio path window, choose your source file. And in the output audio path window, choose where processing audio will be saved. I strongly recommend uncheck the autoplay option and click Infer. After that, 
You can watch the process in the console. However, especially if you have a Wii graphics card, you may encounter an out of memory error instead of this label. In this case, you return to interface and check the use GPU option and click infer again. As a result, we can process the audio file that can be combined with the bit in any audio editor or website. Here's what I got. Joe Biden. 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 Joe Bi